Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris for the 365. I am down at the Diversion Pool Dam, as you can see behind me there. Let me get my camera set up for you there. Uh, so that is the Diversion Pool Dam. Right now there are one, two, three, four gates open. And that is what is maintaining the flow from the Hyatt Powerhouse into the Feather River and so on and so forth down. So this area is, has quickly become one of my favorite places. I like to come down here because it's kind of peaceful with the water going. It's not the safest place. I don't recommend this for everyone. It's also a little bit of a hike. So I wouldn't recommend that for everyone. But let me at least get um, the river totals for you. So right now, uh, that behind me is about 13,000 cubic feet per second total in the river. That is from the Hyatt Powerhouse and um, the diversion pool itself. So this is actually used to help keep the lake, uh, sorry, the river level at the right amount throughout the year. So this is a, like a little mini storage area that, that actually makes the diversion pools, which are above me by about 80 feet, I would say 60 to 80 feet above me. So all that's water down there. This also diverts water out to the Thermalito After Bay and I'm sorry, the Thermalito For Bay and After Bay. Those are two separate pieces. All the water comes from that though. So just off to the side of this, to this direction, it, though, there's a canal that connects that to the Thermalito Four Bay and then goes from the Four Bay to the After Bay and then from the After Bay back into the river down near the Dredger Pond area, the uh, wildlife area down there. So uh, also the actual lake is at 800 and about 24 feet. That is, uh, it's, the, it, it's down quite a bit from what it was. It hasn't had a, a large change, but there has been some rain over the past uh, few hours. It was not no rain to really write home about or anything, but it was definitely, there was definitely enough to notice. I happened to have left my car door, my car windows down and uh, came into a wet seat today. So let me show you around a little bit here. So there we go. So that's all the gates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen gates that can be opened all at once. Yeah, that's the over there. That's the abutment uh, um, goes along the side to keep the water in the channel. And I don't know what other equipment is down there. I am no engineer. I'm barely a reporter. <laughs> so, and then. As you can see, we have, well, you can't see it from here, but there's an abutment on this side too. Then if I'm gonna turn us around real quick. So the river, the river goes down that way. Oh, it's shaky today on this rock. The river goes down along that way. So back down that way is first the fish hatchery, then uh, Bedrock, River Bend Park, then the uh, we'll go to Gridley, we'll go to Live Oak, and so on and so forth till we hit the ocean. Sacramento's down there too. Um, one of the areas I'd like to you guys to kind of see here is right in front. I don't know if you can tell it on the phone. Let me get my head out of the way there. Right there in front, there's so much water that comes out. It actually raises raises the water level up there quite a bit. Uh, let me see if I get down a little lower. You can see that any better I'm not sure but it is it, it's a significant amount too it's probably I would say that that water right out there in the center is about two, a foot higher than it is even right here so it's quite impressive to see and it's kind of loud so if I'm talking too loud for you guys I'm sorry but I'm trying to make sure you guys can hear so got a quite it's a beautiful sky now. There's not a rain cloud in sight. Mother Nature seems to be bipolar today, so kind of get you a little panorama around there. There'll be some bonus content for this one, like I've done with all of them. I do not have my drone with me today, and my extra piece has broken, so you get a handheld version like the old times. Um, but there will be some bonus content. I'll be gathering up little. Uh, clips and videos of the area around here just so you guys can see it like I can. So if you guys have any other places you'd like me to go, please let me know. The fans have been doing a great job of telling me where they tell me exactly where they want me to go. Um, 
but it, it's been awesome. So I can get out to all these great places and show you guys. And uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you tell your friends about the YouTube channel. That's how I get the biggest distribution of these videos to everyone so that everybody can see what's going on. Uh, this is day 112 today. So this is my 112th video. Uh, I would like to thank you, thank everybody for watching and uh, staying with me, especially after the initial crisis is already gone. Um, there will be more reports. Uh, I'll be going in about uh, two weeks to Barbados. There'll be reports from there. I'll have to do it remotely. You know, I won't be able to come down to the river like I like to, but the day I get back, I will be at the river again. So anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Get out into nature. Today's a great day to do it. Uh, tomorrow will be hotter. It's a little humid today, but not too bad from the rain last night. Uh, I'm not worried about the rain at all. It hasn't really increased the inflows to the dam or anything, in case you guys are wondering about that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.